Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be having a look at a map that is solely dedicated to trail riding and four-wheeling. Now, the map in question is called Jeep's Trails, and it's a trail riding map by a user called GPJK, and I will leave a link to his mod.io page in the description box down below where you guys can check out this map for yourselves. Now, one thing that I will say is this map is sort of in a work-in-progress stage right now, and if you're watching this video in the future, I highly urge you to go and check out the map and play it because there may be differences between what you see in this video and what the map may evolve into in the future. So once again, it's a work in progress map, but let's go ahead and jump into it and check it out. Now, we're going to have to go into the truck store first and buy something, but I'm going to go ahead and sell all of my DLC trucks first because we don't need those. And we're going to go into the garage. We're going to buy something that should be right at home on these trails. I'm definitely thinking, I'm definitely thinking Risky's Powerhouse. I love Risky's Powerhouse. It's such a great truck. Let me go ahead and take one more quick look through here. Obviously, Frog's Crawler, um, the Yeet Mobile, especially in crawler spec, would be fun here. Also, Limes F450 would be fun here. There's a lot of rigs that would be fun here, but we're just going to really, honestly, just go ahead and do a real quick setup on this truck. Real quick. Going to throw the trepidors on it, 100 meter toe strap, and uh, that's going to be about it. I mean, honestly, I don't really feel like this thing needs a whole bunch of extra things, and we're going to go ahead and run it in, we might as well run it in red. That'll be fine. And we'll throw a, uh, we'll throw the R&R &R card right there. All right. So it's a beautiful morning out here. And I decided to go with the non-rear steer version of this truck just simply because of the fact that the rear steer can kind of get a little unwieldy at higher speeds. But if you want to use the rear steer, it's really good. Let's fire the truck up. Always sounds so good. It's a little loud, but it's, it does sound properly good. So I have done a little bit of exploring on this map prior, and that trail right there that says Scenic Overlook this way is actually a long set of switchbacks that eventually will go up to a watch point, but there's also a Scenic Overlook up there, which is really, really, really pretty. So we'll go up there in a future exploration video, but... What I want to do is I want to head down this way. Now, down there, you can see there's actually, like, what looks to be a fox. But as you get a little bit closer to it, obviously, it will disappear. Just like it does on, or I should say, just like they do on the uh, campaign maps that feature some wildlife. Now, you can go this way, which kind of takes you around to the trailer store, which I highly recommend taking advantage of if you have a truck that can tow trailers. Like, if you want to load up your trail rigs and take the main road, pick a trail, unload your trail rig, it provides for some really, really good role play opportunities. And so I definitely would recommend giving those a try. Now, there are some trails back there as well on the other side of town, but we're going to head out of town and see what kind of trails we can get ourselves into. Now, once again, this map was designed to sort of replicate the idea of just going four-wheeling with your buddies, finding some fun trails, and sort of doing that realistically. Now, let's see. I have no idea where this trail on the right goes. Let's find out. And that's kind of the beauty of this map, is that especially if you've never been here before, you can literally pick any trail. And, you know, especially if you come out here with your friends in multiplayer, you can have a blast just exploring these trails together, just like you would in real life. Now, there are some rock glitches on this map right now, and rest assured, he is working on those, and he's working on those to the best of his ability. And also, that switchback route that I was talking about a little bit earlier on in the video, there are some rocks up there that for some reason are invisible. But once again, if you are watching this video in the future, definitely take a look at the map again, because it is very possible that uh, by the time you're watching this video later on down the road, uh, if you're not watching it right when it's posted, those issues may have been addressed. So let's go ahead and climb our way down over these rocks. I love this realistic feeling uh, approach to gameplay. Like, it's really, really, really fun. And it really gives you an opportunity to use trail rigs and crawlers in an environment where they really are all viable options, right? You know, uh, converted trail rigs that are sort of, you know, still street vehicles but have a lot of trail rig parts. Those are definitely a viable option here, whereas full-on crawlers that you would have to trail to the, or sorry, you would have to trailer to the trail, those are also fully viable options here as well. You're never really going to be left stranded depending on your vehicle choice, so mad props to this map for that because it really does give you a ton of different options in terms of what vehicles you can use. Now, at this point, we're actually going to return to the garage, and I'm going to actually take you guys 
up that switchback trail that I was talking to you about earlier because as you'll see, you gain altitude really, really quickly and it's actually a wonderful way to kind of get an idea of the, of the scope of the map very quickly because by the time you get even halfway up this trail, you will already start to see why this trail has some incredible views. Now, and once again, you do not have to go all the way up to get some gorgeous, gorgeous viewpoints. The vistas, too, are incredible. And once again, Powerhouse, great choice. Great choice for this uh, for this map in general. I was going to say for this trail, but also for this map in general. And you may see some of those invisible rocks. You may run into them. Um, you may see some weird physics interactions where the tires kind of roll over something that doesn't look like it's there. Um, that's because those rocks are basically the physics thinks the physics system thinks there's a rock there when in all reality there isn't. But it's just something that he's kind of working on right now, which I completely understand. Like it is what it is. You know, he's making an incredible map regardless. So let's see if we can make our way around this first switch back here. Beautiful view of the water. Absolutely gorgeous view of the water over there. And depending on what time of day you come through here, uh, you can really see some nice reflections off of the water down there. And also, you can see a trail that sort of looks like it goes kind of across the river. That's really, really cool. So let me ease my way up across these rocks. Whoa! Come on! Not bad, not bad. Easy does it up the hill. There you go. Not bad. God, this thing really does make such short work of this trail. Even in auto. Like, even in auto, it is not a problem. It is not a problem at all. And this map does such a great job of, once again, and I know I've said this before in this video, but it it gives off that realistic vibe, that realistic feel so well, and it really does make you feel like it's a place you could go with your buddies and hang out and just enjoy a weekend of trail riding and camping and just kind of hanging out. Easy does it up there. I should not have gotten my axle stuck in between those rocks. That was a bad line choice on my part, and I would highly advise against choosing that line because it can get you into trouble real freaking quick. Definitely not a line I would advise if you want to take the safe route, that's for sure. And look how high up we've already gotten. Like, we haven't been on this trail for very long, and we've already gained so much altitude. Like, it's pretty incredible how much altitude we have already picked up. Like, it's pretty freaking wild. Easy, there you go. And now look at the view. Like, look what the view has turned into. You can see the mountains in the distance, you can see the water, but you can also see the town. Like, there's so much up here that you can see, and God, at the end of the day, this is what, this is what makes a crawling map great. Like, this is the kind of stuff that keeps you coming back to a trail riding based map. This is the kind of stuff that keeps you coming back to a crawler based map, and this is, most importantly, the stuff that keeps you bringing your friends back to a map like this. Find some grip at the front end. There you go. Oh, actually walked between those two rocks perfectly. Really watching that articulation go to work. Wow. Gorgeous waterfall right there, too. I didn't even realize there was like... That's literally like a wall of water. Holy crap. That's wild. But man, what a beautiful view. What an absolutely beautiful view, dude. I... I could not have asked for a better view. I, I don't think, there are very few maps, there are very few maps that will give you viewpoints like this, apart from like TNV trails or desert trails, for example, like this is right up there with the best of them, man. This map is really, really good. Let's go ahead and go a little bit further down the trail and see what we can find. It's actually starting to rain on us too, which really doesn't, you know, affect you negatively in any way. It just kind of adds to the atmosphere. So as we ease ourselves down the trail, I'm going to go ahead and kick it up a gear and see how it how it does if I try to go over these a little bit quicker. Not trying to Baja the trail, but, you know, trying to walk down it at a steadier pace. Whereas before, we really were just kind of crawling along. And this thing, man, it always does it. It always just looks at whatever challenge you throw at it and goes, I can do that. <laughs> it goes, I can do that. Don't even worry about it, bud. I'm good. God, it's just walking so nicely up this hill. Man. 
God, there's the... Well, and that, the crazy part is, that's not even the peak yet. That's straight up not even the peak yet. It literally, dude, like, you would imagine that you would have found the peak yet. But no! There's... It's like literally, but wait, there's a lot more where that came from. Oh, God. Oh, God! Got the bottom of the truck hung up a little bit there. Easy. Not bad. Not bad. Making my way up the trail. Wow. The view just gets better. The view literally just gets better and better and better, dude. Better and better and better. Is this is this the final switchback? One would assume that it probably... No. Well, okay, so there's one more that actually goes up to the top of that waterfall right there, which I'm sure is absolutely, absolutely freaking gorgeous. Let's see if we can actually mess with the time of day a little bit. Kind of want to brighten it up outside because it's gotten a little, uh... It's gotten a little... The weather's gotten a little gloomy. I wasn't in the mood for gloomy weather. I'm just gonna rage this last part in high. Yeah, there you go. Just don't flip it. If I flip it and have a diesel addict moment, that would not be good at all. Coming up. There you go. I know that probably wasn't the most realistic way to do that, but ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. It is literally a-okay. I just want to see what that bridge looks like so bad. It might not even be a bridge. It might just literally be like a piece of land that sits there at the top of the mountain. No, it's a bridge. Yeah, it's a bridge, all right. Holy crap. I really want to find more of the areas on this map because I guarantee you that we have not yet scratched the surface of this place. Holy cow. That is amazing. Look at that view. Dude, that really is like one of the best views I have ever seen in SnowRunner. <laughs> that is incredible. Incredible! That is absolutely incredible. And literally, all of that, like, look, you can see all the little trails kind of peppered around the map and all the way down to town. God, what an incredible place and what an incredible map. Well, if you guys enjoyed this first look at this map, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.